everybody. Um, good morning or good afternoon or good evening, whatever time that you're watching this video at. Um, I hope that um, you are well. My name is Michelle Major. I am founder of The Sunshine Project and I live up on the north coast of Northern Ireland. And <clears throat> Today I'm just looking out my window and we are blessed with sunshine today. It's a really lovely sunny day. So I hope the sun is shining wherever you are in the world today as well. So I am recording four videos for uh, Mid and East Antrim Age Well Partnership. So I just want to say thank you to, um, to that wonderful organization for collaborating in this project and the project is called Safe Social Club. And as part of this project, I'm gonna be delivering four videos, roughly lasting about 30 minutes each. And it's gonna be a program called Breathe, Laugh and Relax. And it does exactly what it says in the tin. We are going to do some lovely breathing exercises together, which will leave you feeling nice and calm and relaxed. We are going to do some laughter together because laughter feels really good, doesn't it? And it boosts our mood. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the benefits of that as we move through the program. And then on each of the weeks, we're going to close the session off with a really lovely relaxation so that you leave the session feeling nice and settled and grounded. So... Let's make a start, shall we? Um, before we start, I would just invite you to really um, become aware of whatever surface that you are on right now, whether you are sitting or whether you are lying down or where, wherever you are, just become aware of your body against the surface of that chair or sofa or bed or wherever you are. Just become aware of that and become aware of which parts of your body are in contact with that support mechanism. So for me, sitting on this chair, I can really feel the back of my back in contact with the chair. I can feel my sit bones, and I can also feel my thighs as well. And because I'm sitting, I can really feel my feet flat on the ground. So what can you notice? What parts of your body are in contact with? Whatever it is that your body is resting on right now. And if you can, just take a moment just to allow yourself to really sink into that surface and to really feel the support and the comfort of it. And if perhaps you'd like to move, uh, if you can, and um, if you want to, then that's okay too. Okay, nice. So before we start, I just wanted to share a little bit about why we're doing this project and the benefits that it can bring as well. Um, so when we experience any kind of stress, what happens is the sympathetic part of our nervous system triggers this fight or flight response, which means that our bodies respond as if they're going into some sort of danger. And obviously sometimes that's not the case. Um, so when we are in this fear response or stress response, our breathing can become quite shallow and fast. And we typically breathe from our chest when we're feeling stressed. And this can lead to feeling short of breath, um, which is also quite common when we're feeling anxious. And also when we're in this state, our body releases more cortisol, the stress hormone and more adrenaline as well. And these two stress hormones put our body into that high alert state, which means that our blood pressure will increase and our pulse will increase also. Now, 
The really interesting thing and great thing is that when we breathe deeply, so when we move our breath from our chest into our tummy, we activate another part of the nervous system called the parasympathetic nervous system. And that reverses the stress response within the body. So what deep breathing does when we breathe into our tummy, into our diaphragm, as opposed to into our chest, what we do is we stimulate a nerve, a very important nerve in the parasympathetic nervous system called the vagus nerve. And the vagus nerve is really important in our bodies because what it does is it slows down the heart rate, it lowers our blood pressure, and it calms us down. So we call this the rest and digest part of our nervous system. Because interestingly, when we feel rested and when we feel relaxed, our digestive system works so much better for us also. So not only will our breathing help calm us down, but it will actually impact lots of the functions of our bodies as well. What it also does is it invites more oxygen into our body. So every single cell benefits when we slow our breath down and we breathe deeper. And this can be so soothing for the mind and for our overall emotional well-being. So I hope that makes sense. It certainly makes sense to me. But a huge part of this program is where we actually do things because that's when we, when we get to experience something, that's when we really get to embody it. So we're gonna practice uh, a lovely breathing exercise now, if that's okay with you. And first of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our feet on the ground if we can, if we're sitting. But obviously if we're not, if we're perhaps, um, resting on the sofa or on, in bed, that's okay too. Just as long as you're comfortable, that's the main thing, okay? So I'm gonna invite you now just to take your eyes away from the screen, whatever screen you're watching me on right now, just take your eyes away from the screen. And I want you just to take a wee look around your room. Just look around and notice what you can see in your room right now in this moment. So notice all the colors, the shapes, the textures, and notice your breathing as you look around the room. So just notice how you are breathing in this moment as you gaze around your environment. And as you look around your room, I want you just to land on one thing that you really like, one thing that's perhaps beautiful or nice, something that catches your eye. So for me, I'm landing on a picture. For you, it might be a plant or flowers or a photo, whatever it is. It might even be your curtains. Perhaps you like the colors. Maybe it's your wallpaper. So I want you just to notice what it is about that object or thing that you really like. So for me, it's a picture of buzzy bees and I love the color because they're really bright, vibrant yellow. And I want you to notice as you see what you can see, I want you to notice your breath and how you're breathing. So we're not gonna change the breath in any way. We're just gonna notice how we're breathing in this moment. Lovely. And as you notice your breath and as you notice that object, I want you to just bring your attention now to what you can hear. If you can hear anything in the room. So just noticing what you can hear. And as you notice the sounds in your room or outside of your room, just notice your breath as well. Perhaps that's what you can hear is your breath and how you're breathing. And if it feels comfortable for you, you can close your eyes in this moment. Or if it doesn't feel comfortable, you can find a little spot in your room that you can perhaps gaze at and look at. 
that's okay too. And as you keep your eyes closed or as you gaze at that particular object, I want you just to focus on your breath and just notice how you're breathing. And as you notice your breath, I want you to notice how when you breathe in through your nose, there's a slight coolness of the breath. And when you breathe out through your nose, there's a warmth to your breath. So I want you just to notice that very slight, very subtle difference in temperature when you breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. And if it doesn't feel comfortable to breathe through your nose, that's okay. Just breathe whichever way is comfortable for you and your body. And I want you just to notice as you breathe in and as you breathe out, I want you to notice the rise and fall of your tummy and chest as you breathe in and as you breathe out. So just noticing the rhythm of your breath as you breathe in and as you breathe out. And perhaps noticing where the breath is flowing to in your body and perhaps inviting the breath to move a little bit deeper down from the chest and the lungs and then visualize the breath moving, moving down into your tummy. So as you breathe in, the belly expands and fills like a balloon. And as you breathe out, you could imagine a little cord attached to your navel, pulling your tummy right back to your spine. So if you can, just continue to imagine that your breath is moving into your tummy, allowing your tummy to soften and relax and flowing out through your tummy, allowing the navel to be pulled right back to your spine. So just continuing to notice how you're breathing, inviting the breath to move in and out of your tummy. And as you do so, just becoming aware now of the stages of your breath. So noticing the in-breath, the pause that follows, and the out-breath. So just noticing the stages. So the breath in, the pause, the breath out, and the pause before the next inhalation. So noticing that there is a rhythm to the breath. There is a cycle to how we breathe. And just noticing that that little pause in between the inhalation and exhalation is just as important. Lovely. And then I'm gonna invite you just to wiggle your toes and fingers. <sighs> you might feel like you're like, <sighs> like I do, <laughs> that's okay. And you can open your eyes and just come back into the room. Yawning is a good sign when we breathe deeply. Yawning is a sign that our parasympathetic nervous system has been activated. So it's a really, really good sign. It can also be that we're sleeping. <laughs> So just coming back into your room, coming back into your space. <sighs> and just noticing how you feel. You might feel uh, more settled. You might feel more calm. You might feel more peaceful. So just noticing whatever it is you're feeling right now. So we're going to move on to the next part of our breathe, laugh and relax session. And the next part is our laughter. And they say that laughter is the best medicine. And I truly believe that it is. 
And it's not just me that believes that science does too. So it's scientifically proven that when we laugh, we release a lovely, happy hormone called endorphins. Endorphins make us feel good. They boost our mood. Um, they also give us natural pain relief um, as well, which is great. And remember the cortisol, the stress hormone that we talked about at the start? Well, when we laugh, it actually reduces our cortisol levels in our bodies, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, laughter, laughter makes us feel really good. It connects us as well. It, it, it makes us feel that we are part of something bigger other than ourselves. So we're going to do some laughter exercises now. I'm going to do them first and then I'm going to invite you to join in. Sometimes when you do this, you might, you might not feel like laughing very heartily, but you might feel a little smile coming to your face or you might feel a little chuckle. So I'm going to invite you to just go with the flow and do whatever feels good and right for you. We're going to do some breathing as well. And we're going to do a little bit of movement, but you don't have to get up off your seat or your bed or sofa or wherever you are just now. But we're going to have a bit of fun now. It's going to be uplifting and it's hopefully going to boost your mood and make you feel brighter and lighter and happier. So first things first, I would love to see your lovely palms of your hands. Let me see those. Lovely. Believe it or not, we have acupressure points here, a little bit like our feet. So when we clap, we're going to clap with our palms flat. Okay. And in laughter yoga, we do a really fun clap and chant. And we're going to do a ho, a ho, a ha, ha, ha. A ho, a ho, a ha, ha, ha. A ho, a ho, a ha, ha, ha. <laughs> so when you hear me do the ho, ho's and the ha, ha's, you join in. Okay? Now. After the ho-hos and the ha-has, we're going to do some lovely breathing, okay? And the breathing that we're going to do this week is called balloon breathing. So remember when we did our first little breathing exercise at the start into our tummy? And I got you to imagine that your tummy was filling up like a balloon and then on the out breath was deflating. Yeah, well, we're going to do that. So let me see your lovely palms of your hands. We're going to rub them together until they feel nice and warm. And then we're going to hold our imaginary balloon. And as we breathe in, the balloon is going to get bigger. And as we breathe out, it gets smaller. So we're breathing in and breathing out. Beautiful. We're going to breathe in through our nose. We're going to breathe out through our mouth as if we've got a straw in our mouth. And we're going to try and make the out breath longer than the in breath. Okay? Okay. So let's give it a go. The first laughter exercise we're going to do this week is called greeting laughter. So greeting laughter is where you and I are going to get acquainted. And we're going to wave our hands. We're going to smile at each other. And... We're gonna laugh. <laughs> and then we're gonna do a ho, a ho, a ha, 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 a ho, a ho, a ha, 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 a ho, a ho, a ha, ha, ha. Brilliant. Let's rub our hands together. Let's hold our imaginary balloon and let's breathe in, it gets bigger. Breathe out, it gets smaller. <sighs> breathing in. I'm breathing out. <sighs> That's a good sign, yawning is allowed. <laughs> oh. 
Lovely, lovely. Okay, so the next laughter exercise we're going to do is a really fun, well, they're all fun, but this one's called tiny laughter. So it's when we take our thumb and finger, we make a wee tiny movement like that. Can you do that? Great. And we're going to do a wee tiny hee. So it's a tiny laugh. It's a wee hee. Hee. <laughs> And then we're going to make it a little bit bigger. So we're going to do a hee 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 And this time we're going to take our hands and we're going to congratulate how great we are. And we're going to say, very good, very good, yay, with jazz hands. Very good, very good, yay, jazz hands, wonderful. <laughs> Hopefully you're feeling a little bit more energized now, a little bit brighter, maybe a little lighter, just noticing how you're feeling. So the next laughter exercise we're gonna do is called big laughter. So for this one, we're going to stretch our arms out in front of us, okay? We're going to unzip our laughter, yeah? So we'll do this a couple of times. I'll demonstrate first, and then both of us can join in together. So we're going to do a zip, zip, zip. Let's stretch our arms out in front of us and let's do a zip, zip, zip. <laughs> Brilliant. And let's do a ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Wonderful. Let's rub our hands together again. Let's hold an imaginary balloon. Let's breathe in. It gets bigger. Breathe out. It gets smaller. Breathe in. And breathe out. Lovely. <laughs> okay. We're gonna do another laughter exercise and I think you're all gonna love this one because we all love this in Northern Ireland and that is a cup of tea. We love a cup of tea, don't we? I love drinking tea and I know that you do too because we all do. So this one is called teacup laughter. And for teacup laughter, we're gonna imagine that we have a saucer and a cup. It's China because we're very posh. <laughs> And you can put your little pinky out too if that makes you feel even more posh. We're going to drink our lovely cup of tea. But as we drink it, we're going to make a very posh laughter sound because we're very posh. Yes, we are. <laughs> so it looks and sounds like so. <laughs> Ready? Let's do it. Let's do teacup laughter. <laughs> <laughs> and let's do a ho, a ho, a ha, 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 a ho, a ho, a ha, 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 ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Brilliant. Let's rub our hands together until they feel nice and warm. Hold our imaginary balloon and let's breathe in. It gets bigger. Breathe out. It gets smaller. Breathing in and breathing out. Lovely, lovely. I hope you enjoyed the laughter. I hope you enjoyed the clapping and the breathing and the little bit of movement. And I hope you feel the benefit of that. 
even smiling can make you feel so much better about yourself and about the day. So we're going to move on to our third part of our session, which is our lovely, lovely relaxation. So for this, I'm going to invite you to get nice and cozy. So if you can, um, just get cozy on your chair or your sofa or bed or wherever you are right now. So just allow your shoulders to really drop and relax, okay? Allow your mouth. <sighs> to do a big yawn, do a really loud sound of a yawn. Allow your jaw to relax. We carry a lot of tension here, believe it or not. So it's good to allow the jaw to relax. So for this exercise, I'm going to invite you to close your eyes and we're going to do a lovely relaxation. So just closing your eyes and taking a moment to just notice how we're breathing. And as you notice your breath now, you might have noticed that your breath has become Longer, slower, maybe even deeper. So just noticing how your body is breathing in this moment. And as you notice your body breathing, I want you to notice your body either sitting or lying on whichever surface you're on right now. And again, if you can, invite your body to relax. Relax, relax. And we're gonna start off with the top of our head and we're gonna invite all the parts of our body to relax, relax, relax. So starting off with our face and all the muscles in our face. Inviting our eyes to rest in their sockets, our cheekbones to soften, our jaw to drop. And just allowing everything to soften and relax. Allowing your shoulders to drop, your arms and hands to really let go, really let go and surrender to this moment. This moment of stillness and rest and relaxation. Allowing your chest and tummy to relax, relax, relax. Allowing your hips to soften and your legs and feet to relax, relax, relax. And we say the lovely positive affirmation. In this moment, I am calm and relaxed. In this moment, I am calm and relaxed. All is well right now. All is well right now. And just very gently wiggling your toes, wiggling your fingers and just rubbing your hands together and just very gently bringing your hands up but not touching your face just in front of your face so that you can open your eyes behind your hands and just taking a moment to look around your room again and just noticing what you can see in this moment in your environment just doing what we did at the very start of our session today, noticing what you can see in your room, noticing the shapes, noticing the colors, and just landing on something that you particularly like. So this time I'm landing on a, a pig um, bag, and it has beautiful pink uh, roses over it and some are quite bright and some are, are more faded um, but they're all very beautiful 
So just noticing when you notice something of beauty in your room, what happens on the inside? Thank you all so much for joining me this week for our very first Breathe, Laugh and Relax session. I hope you enjoyed it. I am really looking forward to our second video where we're going to be doing more breathing exercises, more laughter exercises and more um, relaxation. So thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your day. My name is Michelle and it's been an absolute pleasure to be with you here today. Take care.